While the Rocky Horror Picture Show has become synonymous with midnight movies, there are other films that draw a late-night crowd. Director John Jacobs makes low-budget movies that have a loyal following. What would you like to drink? Hmm? Jacobs' movie, The Girl with the Hungry Eyes, wasn't originally supposed to be a cult film. I thought it was going to go to Cannes. I thought some big distributor was going to jump on it. In fact, people kept telling me this film is it's a cult film. You've got to, you know, people have got to see it. Jacobs isn't complaining. Once a director gets a cult following, he or she has a better chance of making big budget movies. Directors who have made the leap from midnight to mainstream include Blue Velvet's David Lynch, whose first film, Eraserhead, is still a cult classic, and Serial Mom's John Waters. Another example of how a cult director's status can turn into big box office. I made my first movie literally 30 years ago. So nothing has happened overnight. It's been a very, very gradual thing that has built through the years. John Waters, David Lynch, and John Jacobs. Their films, although very different, have some similarities. Well, films tend to be just a little bit edgy, something that's going to appeal to a crowd to get them out of, you know, out of the house at midnight. And that, according to Lamley, is what keeps audiences of all ages coming to midnight movies. I'm Greg Agnew for E!